Today we're doing some North Star head gaskets on a first generation North Star. Uh, it's a, this particular block is a 99 VIN Y and it does have the fine threaded head bolts. It's the M11 by 1.5 thread pitch and today I'm drilling out the existing OEM aluminum threads in the block and installing the time cert M11 by 1.5 by 30 mil insert. Now there's a, there's a kit, an installation kit that you can buy. It's a few hundred bucks. Um, this one I've had for years now and it's pretty well used. And I've lost the bolts over the years to hold this plate in. And what this does is it, uh, it has an alignment bore in a hole that's this bushing is used to guide the drill into the hole that we're drilling and reaming for the insert. So these other three bolts are simply to hold the fixture and secure it. And this pin comes with a kit. It's used to align the dowel center with the bore. Now that's sitting straight. I'm just going to seat these other three bolts. And this kit's kind of worn out just from use over the years and sometimes I just like to make a visual check to make sure it's centered before I ream it out. And sometimes I've even seen a few blocks that the existing threads are so worn and from the corrosion and coolant that uh, I've got to seat these bolts and they just sit there and spin because all the threads are gone. So this is the reamer that comes with the kit. And it's, it has two, two widths to this reamer bit. And this first, first wider width is to widen the existing bore such that we can, we can work down there and install the time cert. And the second smaller relief is it's, uh, it's used to widen, well, first take out any existing threads and make it wide enough such that we can tap the threads to fit our uh, 30 millimeter time cert in. So you can, as you can see, that's relatively about uh, you know about the same depth. So just to keep this tool working well, we like to oil it up. I just use a little bit of engine oil, ATF. You can use cutting oil. Just oil that comes in the kit. It's good for like two bolts, but um, maybe a little bit down in the hole. And we're going to drill it out. And yeah, when you're doing this, you get aluminum shavings everywhere. So just be conscious of what you're wearing because, um, yeah, you'll, you'll get aluminum shavings in the wash and your other clothes. So it's it's like anti-seas. Anyways, uh, so now we have that reamed out. Um, actually, I want to make a note here. This, because this is a first generation North Star, the... The bolts are the same height, and that's the shorter height, top to bottom. Now, in the second generation North Star, the bottom bolts are a little are, are longer, and I think about 15 millimeters. I could be wrong, but uh, this kit comes with a, a bushing. It's like a spacer, such that the depth, you know, it, you preset this depth with this uh, with this ring collar. So 
If this was a second generation North Star, you drill it out a bit deeper and we remove this, this bushing for the lower section. So because this is a because this is a first generation, we're using the bushing top and bottom. So now that I have that reamed out, we have to tap it out to fit the time cert. So as the tap that comes in the kit to fit the M11 or 15 time cert. Now I like to put a little bit of oil on these. <coughs> A little bit down the bore and just like the reamer bit this has two notches on the tap and all we're doing is we're going to run this tap in until to this first notch is flush with this alignment bush in here And as it's becoming flush, you can feel the tap at the bottom of the bore. And we don't want to go any further than that. We could risk cracking the block. So. And we'll use a bit of brake cleaner, remove that oil. And now that's one hole drilled, ready for a time cert. So I'm going to use an installation tool. Now the kit comes with one and it's basically a threaded bolt without the head. Now mine's broke over the years so what I did last year is I just cut a bolt, an old head bolt, and just notched it so it could fit the drill chuck and using the threads just to install it, it works great. So just use a little bit of oil on these threads just to coat the inner threads on the time cert so that the installer on threads very easily. Just want to make sure it's free of any kind of aluminum shavings, debris, dirt. And we're going to coat the outer threads of this insert with high strength Loctite and use Permatex. This is a Pratt Lock 1020 grade uh, high strength Loctite. Um, this this in conjunction with the locking mechanism on these inserts is going to lock this insert into the block. Now, I don't know if you can tell by look by this angle, but uh, the bottom portion on the inner threads of the insert are unfinished. And why that's because when you run this insert in, the installer is going to self self thread the last you know thread on the inside and then what that does is it locks the insert into the block and you're going to hear it a, uh, like a motor pitch change on my drill when i'm running this in and it's it's very important that you're in tune with that now you're going to hear three pitches total and the first pitch when i'm running this tap in is going to be the installer threading itself into this insert and you're going to hear a pitch change, and that's going to be the insert threading itself into the block. And the third pitch is going to be where this thing's going to take a load, and that's where it's expanding the bottom of this insert in. Now, right after that point, after expanding this insert in, it's very important that you don't run this tap in too far because it could bottom out at the bottom of the block, creating tension between. And, uh, the threads and, and the bottom of the block and it could possibly crack um, out here. I've had it happen to me once before. That was a hard lesson to learn. Um, of course, didn't see that until I got it all the way back together. But I've done enough of these to where I have this down muscle memory, but it's very important that you're being aware of every step of this process, especially when you're doing 20 of them. So I'm just going to run this in.
first change and the third change. I'll do is I'll take uh, one of these bolts here and I'll just visually note that the space I don't know if you can see that from here but the space between this this plate and this washer and it's on the first thread you just want to note and just make sure they're relatively the same and what's that's for is to verify that the insert didn't back out when you were we're removing the installer so and to make sure that it's fully seated and that is one of 20 inserts so there's it's definitely a time-consuming process I tape this you know this deck up here with duct tape and just to make sure that there's no metal shavings going into the uh, into the engine um, Missing a piece of tape here. I should have put one there. But um, other than that, make sure you know you're set up with your tools. You know, get a couple airlines, get two, three drills, and yeah, that's it. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.